Yeah, welcome back. We're glad to know you're still there and watching us. Every day we wake up and uh, when we hear alert on our phones, uh, sometimes or most times it is debit alert <laughs> because uh, there's some uh, money taken from us because we've been using the USSD or we've been... Uh, uh, banks have been maintaining our cards and all that, and we get really, really angry that these uh, debits are coming to us. But like they say, big man, big trouble, and the <laughs> banks and the, the telecoms uh, providers also who made the USSD possible for us, eh, well, thank God for small messes, it, it has made banking uh, very easy for all of us. But there is this fight uh, between the banks and the telecoms providers uh, that are enabling this USSD. So we need to have an insight into what is happening. There is this debt that is on. So we're talking about USSD debts, telcos, banks battle over 100 billion naira. How did it come to be and why is there a tussle in the first place? So we're glad to have uh, the former uh, the former president of Private Telecoms and Communications Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, president here with us in the person of uh, Honorable Oladakpo Moses. Uh, welcome, good morning, and welcome to the program, Honorable. Yeah, good morning, uh, listeners and viewers uh, worldwide. Thank you for having me. So happy to be here today. Yeah, so let us just get to establish how this relationship is. Um, the USSD, what is that relationship? How does the bank use the services of the telecoms and how do they get the money? What's the sharing formula, if it is possible to cram all that into one right now? Well, the uh, USSD does the code uh, is a service that has been, you uh, can say, is almost archaic in the developed countries. But uh, in Africa in the last uh, few years, it's been the talk of town. Because uh, outside uh, our physical banking services, uh, when especially for uh, most people who have no data on their phone, once you have a little, uh, account, a little balance, Call credits, let's say 10, 20 naira, then you can still make use of your phone for banking services mm -hmm. by dialing your uh, bank USSID code and carry out transactions that you could you would normally not be able to do without visiting your bank okay. or having your mobile uh, data for okay. such services. And though this has uh, this has been possible by the telecom infrastructure, uh, though um, physical at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, by having their devices configured uh, and the bank providing their own data, you know, the account number, the, uh, the access, the pin, pin code, ATM details, and other necessary things. And then also having an ownership with other uh, financial institutions, even not necessarily full bank now, even the other micro banks that are coming up, partial banks, so having a handshake with them so that they can transact business. Uh, all through the banks. If you recall, in those days, uh, going transaction from one bank to another takes this. In fact, you, you have to either uh, do a, a, a seven working days or uh, at worst three to two working days before it's done. So, the USSD has made this much possible with the funds in the banking sector. Thank you. So how did this money in contention come to be? Isn't it something that, you know, as we use, is remitted uh, immediately and all that? So why is this debt of 100 billion that has become a bone of contention between the service providers and the banks themselves? Yeah, the first problem comes up, you know, when you try to cheat in Nigeria, uh, it's, it's an issue. Cheat in the, in, the, in the sense that the CBN and the NCC, at one of their meetings, uh, NCC believed that causes uh, charges to be, be to be withdrawn. Those charges should not be paid by users. CBN also supported NCC in that case. When CBN uh, used a word like salt cost, salt cost in this uh, place means that that charge, that uh, service costs the telecom industry nothing. It's like a, a, a value a VS, a value added service that the telecom industry need to do nothing to fix. So when you know when CBN and the uh, uh, SC told that line, automatically it means that they don't want to service to pay this money. Whereas Nigerians were being charged for, for service. Mm. It was increased to six point nine eight naira. 
And now you are deducted immediately to do to use the service. So why why, why is it, it is not being paid? It's because of that uh, word by the CBN, then the willingness not to pay. Now who is keeping this money? I'm not sure if allegedly CBN is also having a share in their money. Because normally banks take their charges, it would have been easier to pay. And that's why it is funny in Nigeria that you have an organization that is supposed to oversee banks. And you know, anytime the talk will cry out that they are owing us over 100 billion, CBN will not call a meeting. And how do you think? It's not a matter of how do we pay. You deducted money from the clients, pay the money to the owner, and let us have a fair, a fair system here. So the, the problem is that the money is being taken from me and you, going to the banks. Banks is keeping, either they are keeping the money or they are using it for unforeseen circumstances. You know, the more you, the less, the more you look, the less you see. So <laughs> that's what we can really say now. You understand me? Okay, well, I'm, I'm trying to triangulate my head over the imbroglio, over this uh, remittance that should have taken place. Bring us up to speed on the international best practices on how this should have been done. Okay. Uh, like I said initially, uh, services like uh, USSID in developed countries are already going a cake. So comparison is a bit difficult, but we can see uh, do our best to compare. Because uh, currently in the U.S. and the U.K., the, uh, USSD is now a commercial service. You can use it for political, for a lot of reasons, not necessarily only banking and the monetary services. But what is, uh, what is obtainable there is that subscribers pay directly to telecoms company. So now, but I, I have not taken time to know the sharing formula between the telecoms and the banking, but I think there is no sharing formula at all. What they do is that you as a subscriber, you either subscribe for daily subscription. For example, if I'm paying one hour to use USSSD service in one day, then throughout that day, I don't pay for any session again. So I can transact business throughout the day. Some pay weekly, monthly, and annually. So that is what is obtainable uh, best practices globally now. But we cannot compare their own infrastructure, their investment, then the banking percentage. India, for example, has over 80% bankable uh, uh, adults. And in Nigeria, you know, the far cry, uh, and uh, even the surge we had recently in the uh, in the uh, online service was the result of the inconvenient uh, uh, monetary policy that the, the CBN and the FG put on us by withdrawing our Naira. So presently, uh, that is what is done in international practices. Uh, the telcos, I think they take charge of the, 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 the charges and the subscriber pay as you go. So you pay for what you want to do. So that one, I believe we'll get there one day. So where we are now is still clumsy as a some people want to be doing more kid they work they're going to shop so there's going to be a meeting among alton outcon and the banks what 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 are your expectations from this meeting nothing i'm not expecting any miracle you no. know is the cbn and the uh, ncc had already already dictated the way they want this issue to fly you know when you two people are meeting you are the arbiter you now come and say that the money you want to collect is an hair money. It doesn't make sense. As in, it doesn't, uh, uh, it's a sunk money. You don't need anything to do. It's like the money, you are not working for it. Automatically, the people that will pay will not want to pay. So the meeting is just a, a, a repetition of wasting of time. These things should not demand any meeting. Banks, you are owing telcos over 100 billion. Pay your money. Simple. You have deducted this money from the people, from the user. Pay. What is the essence of the meeting? We just keep meeting, drinking tea and coffee, and nothing is coming out. So to me, I'm not expecting any miracle. What I expect is that, what I expect is that we we'll get there and they will tell them that uh, when I go to pay again, we will pay everybody will go and rest again. Then after three months, telco will come. Ah, we we they are owing us. We will join the service. And that is just the issue. So you just keep going and going. And the only thing is that the service is difficult to withdraw now. Because most of these telcos have also put into banking. So and it's, it's like you are using a, a, a mobile from MTN 
and you want to, you, know, you cannot transact to FCMB. You know, it's, so it's, it's still the same issue. You can't you take us to stop also to FCMB. How do we join the service? All of you are also into banking now. <laughs> so you can, you, you imagine. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just let's just wrap it up with this. Um, the next administration is coming, and people have already suffered with the redesigning of the Naira and all that. We shouldn't have a problem with the USSD because at that time it was really a big problem. Uh, you want to transfer money, you can't get cash. You want to transfer money is a problem and all that. But this fight that is happening here, um, how can it affect the federal government itself, especially as the new administration is coming, so that they need to address it? And if they have to address it, what do they need to do to settle this matter once and for all? Yeah, the new administration needs to take a very bold decision in, uh, on two issues. Either they want the banking uh, percentage to go higher for the adults, or they want money to get profit. If they want the banking uh, percentage, the bank, uh, bankable Nigerians, to go higher, then they need to follow in the footstep of Kenya, the footstep of India, and other countries that reduce totally the cost on US sales. Because many adults, many of our mothers, fathers in the village, they don't have Android phone, but they can use USSD if they are taught. But the, the fear of we have to pay charges even on as much as 1,000, as much as any amount, will make them to want to go to bank to queue. So the government needs to do one thing. One, reduce that charges, barely to the minimum, so that you can raise the bankable uh, number of our adults. Two, they need to decide who takes this money. How does it pay? If they want Nigerians to pay, let them come in and give a very, very reduced charges and say that, okay, from now on, bank, go and get your source of funding from another place since you cannot do with this. You cannot pay the people their money. So now, we now come back to the idea of the daily the okay. subscription, annual okay. subscription, or yearly subscription. Okay. And if the bank and the telco still want to agree on percentage, it's fine. Okay. But this time now, it is better right. that we separate Okay. The owner of this money and the collector. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that's the much we can take from you. It's been enlightening uh, talking about this USSD uh, debt uh, and the fight between the telcos and uh, the banks. I uh, would like to thank you, uh, Honorable Oladokpo Moses, former national president, private telecoms and communications, senior staff association of Nigeria. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Have a good day. We'll take a break now, and when we return, it's sports all the way.